I literally forgot. I've got another Zara parcel and it's at my post office. I haven't collected it for like five days. Oh, shit. Lauren. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are not new. First and foremost, I would just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that commented, that liked, that shared, that subscribed because of my last video. I'm really, really grateful for it and I'm glad that you like the content. I can't believe that in the last video I was on 255 subscribers and now I'm on like over 400 so claps to everybody, claps to you and yeah claps to you mainly because you're the ones that are watching it and giving me the views so I'm just really appreciative that you're enjoying the content and I'm glad to be back on YouTube making the content for you but I hate long intros so I'm just going to get straight into the video but yeah a big thank you lastly. I spent quite a bit of money but there were sales and also I needed to zhuzh up my summer wardrobe even though I'm looking out the window and seeing grey skies like this England is so unfair. Should we just get into it? I think so. Let me not forget to do my thumbnail because last time I forgot to do my thumbnail and oh, my head was just scatter. I picked up this really basic Zara vest in this urku slash beige sort of colour and this was £7.99. It's got a second skin. If you know about the halter bodysuit that they do, it's in that same material and it's really snug. So I got this in a size small. Okay, so I've got the vest on and this is so nice. As I said, it's similar to the bodysuit fabric. It fits really lovely. Um, I have zero complaints about this top. I may have a thing for bodysuits this season, especially seamless ones, because I had to go and pick up the Zara one in this lovely, ooh, that looks really nice on my skin. So I picked this up in a size small and it was um, $12.99. I didn't think it was $12.99, I thought it would be less, but yeah, $12.99. I've got it in white and I absolutely love that one. This feels slightly thicker than the white one and it also feels slightly thicker than the um, vest that I This bodysuit is so nice. It fits really lovely. I've got the size small, as I said previously. Not much I need to say. It really complements my skin color and I really like it. And I also have to pick it up in black. The black is just so classic, so lovely. Um, I really have lots of ideas for this come out with skirts, some like wide leg trousers. Yeah, so lovely. So slinky, so soft. Very, very, very classic. So before I went to Primark, I actually picked up some shorts from Zara as I saw them on their website and thought these were really lovely. They're quite short, however, I got a size 14 and they were £19.99, so basically £20. And they're like an acid wash black quite short and um, I'm hoping that my butt isn't coming out of the bottom of them. Plenty of room. Because one of the worst things I hate is when you go for a picnic and then you sit on the ground and you're just like, ah, oh, because your jeans are too tight. So yeah, they stay up, they fit my butt. They don't need to be super tight on the waist. If I wanted to, I could take them in a couple of inches, but I'm not really that bothered. For 19 pounds, AKA 20, not bad. I got like the acid wash kind of colour in a size 14 again. I picked these up before I picked up the Zark, before I picked up the Primark one, sorry. And if I like these ones more, I'll keep them. If I like the Primark ones more, I'll keep those. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna try this on and find out. I think I'll be fine with it if I was wearing it on holiday, but try it in London. No, even my body language I'm like a bit awkward. I just yeah, it's not my comedy. I then picked up this gorgeous midi white skirt. 
in a size medium. No, eh -eh. I'm gonna have to turn down the exposure for real, for real. It has this gorgeous knot detail on it and has a split down the front as well. I swear I bought this in a medium. Okay, this skirt was $29.95. I don't know if it was really that much because it says $29.95 in euros. I definitely paid in pounds. This skirt is so out of my comfort zone. It's so girly. Yeah, I really am enjoying it. It flatters my figure. It makes me look like I've got wider hips, which is a plus plus. I'm enjoying that aspect of it. So I've been on the hunt for the perfect black trouser that I can wear with like a cropped white tank top, racer back, vest, whatever, for the perfect like 90s vibe, cool girl, chilled, you know what I mean? However, the hip to waist ratio is always so off or the leg length is a bit too short. They have a buckle detail. Super crushed, Zara, I haven't worn these, I don't know why they're so crushed up like this. But the material is really heavy. 75% viscosa, viscose. Did I say it in a different language? And 25% wool. Oh, and thank you to the lady who told me that linen is linen and cotton is cotton because now I know the difference. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued to try this on. I bought this for 59 pounds. But do you know what? I think I ended up buying them for that much because I said, I need some quality black trousers in my wardrobe so that I can wear them winter, summer, autumn, spring all the time and have them in the wardrobe for a long time. So these trousers are not what I wanted them to be. They're so tight on the booty area. They're kind of like suit pants, but on the model they looked really long and they looked loose. However, on me they just fit too fitted. Yeah, it looks like I'm going for an interview. Not the vibe I was going for. Yeah. Hey now, hey now, what did I buy? <laughs> These look interesting. I got the Tech Legging water repellent. Don't know what I'm gonna be doing for me to be water repellent. And they're literally like this, they have zip detail in here. Why did I get this in a large? Hmm. Okay, we heard it fits, right? So I've got these trousers on, but the zip is bust, like. The zip didn't work, which is kind of annoying. However, if they did fit, they would look like this. Really flattering on the figure, actually. If they did go up, they would look like this. However, because they are so high waisted and they also have the hem, it makes my legs look like quite stubby as if they're from like here down which I'm not a fan of. So in one of my most recent Instagram pictures, I was wearing these trousers, or leggings I should really say. They are these ribbed, ribbed material, and they are split at the bottom. And these were, I don't know how much they were, hold on. The leggings that I picked up were called the Ottoman leggings, these, these ribbed ones, and they were $17.99. These are so comfortable, they fit really, really well. They're not too long, even though there's a split hem on them. Super snug, can dress it up, can put like a large t-shirt over this, can put a shirt, could do like a bodysuit like I'm wearing now. Yeah, lots of stuff. Really enjoying this top. And I can also wear it in the winter as well. So yeah, this is a good buy. So I've been on the hunt for some straight leg jeans that actually cinch in my waist a little bit and are full length, as in they're not ankle skimmers. No, I don't want any of that. Not split hem, no, nothing. So when I saw these on the Zara website, I was pretty apprehensive to buy them because whenever I've bought Zara leggings, in the, Zara jeans, sorry, in the past, they just don't fit properly. And I always have to size up and they still don't fit. So I'm like, what the hell, I'm not gonna go get a size 16. I just can't be bothered. So even though I had to size up with these ones, as they have zero stretch, they fit very well. It's like acid wash jean and they have a raw hem at the bottom. And these were $29.99, which is pretty good because if I was to go to a thrift shop, I would pay probably £25 for a pair of vintage Levi's. So yeah, not too bad. 
So I've already worn these out and I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. The waist actually fits me without me having to wear a belt or thinking, oh gosh, this is just too baggy. It still pulls me really nicely. The denim is nice and soft, not too hard. Um, I guess it's that way because I've already broken it in. And the length is really good on the legs. Like it comes all the way down. It's not too long. I don't need to hem them. So yeah, perfect pair of straight leg jeans in my opinion. It was the beginning of the year, however, I went to go and take it to a photo shoot with me and then I just couldn't find it. Like when I got back home, I didn't even wear it on the shoot, that's the thing. So when I got back home, I couldn't find it. Up till now, I still can't find it. So, And then we all know that I was on the hunt for a pair of white jeans. However, the Primark ones just weren't cutting it. They were so see-through, they didn't fit properly, they weren't flattering. So I saw that Zara did the same straight leg jean in a white and i had to go and get it it's showing up very white on my screen these were again 29.99 and i got them in a size 14 so that my legs and my bunda can breathe and then the finale right so every winter every autumn can you ever find a nice trench that's what I thought. You can never find a nice trench coat. So when I was on the website, I saw this trench and it went from 80, well, I'm just gonna say 90 pounds because it was 89.99, all the way down to 49.99. And I put it in my basket. I don't know why I lacked because you know things run out on Zara so quick. Put it in my basket and by the time I went to go check out, it was gone. Oh, so anyways, when I was in Westfield last week, I saw the jacket and I just had to pick it up. From 90 pounds to 50, absolute bargain. It has this kind of Burberry-esque material on the inside of it. And then it has all of this detailing at the back. And I got this in a size medium. So yeah, it was the last one as well, so. <laughs> How childish. The only thing is that the arms are slightly too short, but can't really do anything about that. Another seven centimeters, that'd be perfect. However, this is such a cute trench. So I've already tried on these shoes. I've worn them out because I just had to. These really lovely see-through slides, no heel because sometimes you just need a nice pair of flats that go with everything. And I thought the black sole is nice and then the see-through sandal bit where your foot goes through, it won't be too obvious when you're wearing outfits, it will just seamlessly match. So yeah, I had to pick up a pair of these and I got them in a size seven and they were $19.99. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you can take some inspiration from it. And you know what to do. If you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you in my next one. And let's hope I do not buy any clothes for the whole month of July. See you later, guys. Bye.